Rotifers are small aquatic organisms that shape like a bell with a tail. They are part of the fish larvae diet in the wild. Hello, I'm Kirby from Singapore Food Agency, together with my colleague Wei Chiang and our friend Kai Wei from GovTech. And on today's episode of My Friend Tell Me One, we are here to tell you about our work at Marine Aquaculture Centre on St. John's Island. So this is our Rotifer Culture Facility at Marine Aquaculture Centre. So in our facility, we maintain a continuous culture of Rotifer. As fish larvae need to be constantly fed, any disruption in Rotifer production, even for a single day, will lead to a significant loss in harvest. Challenges of uh, Rotifer culture is uh, consistency. As Rotifer live very short time of 72 hours, we need to make sure that their population are balanced, that they do not reproduce too fast or too slow. It's important to ensure that we feed them enough nutrients, but not to overfed them also. So density is very important uh, in this continuous culture process. So for newly born fish larvae, they do not recognize commercial fish powder as food. They instinctively look for living organisms to eat. To grow about 250,000 fish larvae for about two weeks, we estimate that it requires about three to four billion rotifer. Traditionally, we would count the rotifers by taking the sample, staining it with iodine, and then counting it under the microscope manually by using a clicker counter. It would take an experienced staff at least 10 minutes to count the sample, and for inexperienced staff or student interns, they can take up to 30 minutes to count each sample with very inconsistent levels of accuracy. That's why we worked with GovTech to develop this automated system for counting. So GovTech came here for a site visit, and we are shown the whole workflow in SFA, and we identified this particular laborious process. So initially, we are considering between using a map microscope that can actually capture the image, or using a smartphone. But after considering the cost and also the resolution, we find that using a smartphone would be an effective manual. So we actually started with the labeling process and that is actually the most laborious part. It took us about three to six months to finish the development work. With the automated AI system, we are able to get the count within seconds with accuracy over 90%. This AI technology will save farmers hours of manpower, reducing their cost of production and making the fish farmers more economically viable and profitable. This can help to improve the efficiency of our fish farms to achieve our 30 by 30 goal, which is to build our capability and capacity to sustainably produce 30% of our nutritional needs by 2030.